Welcome to another Salty Strikes Fishing Adventure. I'm Chris, this is Lily, that's Lacey. And uh, today I caught a really unusual fish. Um, never caught it before, never even seen one cat caught in here before. Um, in this area, um, you know, I'm sure people catch them elsewhere and stuff and other people probably catch them, but I've never seen one never caught around here or even heard of one caught around here. Uh, but uh, it's kind of interesting. But today was kind of, uh, hectic to say the least. Um, you know, the winds were predicted to be 15 mile an hour all day long and uh, I was it was the wind was supposed to go north to south so I figured I'd head out and get on the inlet side of the jetty. Maybe those jetties would protect me a little bit from those waves and this is kind of what that looked like. Check this out, it is a mess out here. Um, but this is what I was kind of hoping, that wind's coming this way, so the jetty's blocking all those big waves coming, so it's not too terrible in here. But I've seen some fish on the bottom machine, so um, that's a good sign. All right, uh, we're gonna throw down some shrimp. Um, and uh, the good thing about weather like this is uh, we're the only boat out here bad thing about weather like this is it's weather like this um, same thing with shrimp uh, you know you, everything comes with its uh, plus and minuses good thing about shrimp is everybody everything eats shrimp bad thing about shrimp is everything eats shrimp so if you're like targeting a specific uh, uh, fish or something like that you're just gonna get a lot of bite catch these guys just came from up offshore somewhere but I don't know what the hell they're doing out there but god bless them <laughs> it's a mess out there <laughs> oh man yep somebody got him <laughs> yeah. just my luck I haven't caught a catfish in I don't know I can tell you how long Jesus this garbage so not much was biting out there and it was just garbage weather so you know it is what it is sometimes you know I, I get out and fish when I can I work a 40 hour week and I uh, only on certain days and I fish when, when I'm off <laughs> so uh, I got out there and made the best of it and then I came back inshore and uh, I stopped at a couple of usual spots and uh, this is how that went Got something little, little something, little tiny mangrove. Oh man, it's gonna be a rough day. Get that hook in your mouth, Jesus. Got something. There's a little guy. He's fighting though. He's fighting. Oh, sheep said. Nice little sheep said. He's only uh like 11 and a half inches. I wouldn't keep him if <laughs> so. Got to be 12 or over. I usually only keep them when they're about close to 14 or more. Got another one. This is a good one. A little bit better. A little better. Maybe. Oh, no. Black sea bass. I think these got to be like 12 or 13 inches. Pretty fish though. Freaking puffer, man. Catching fish, but nothing that we want, but still, you know, the line's tight. There we go. There we go. 
There we go. What we got here? Oh, little uh, black grouper. That's a gag grouper, excuse me. Little gag. They just need to get a lot bigger than this. Pretty fish though, it's going back. Man, it is just a mixed bag of uh, fish today. Little mangrove. Yeah, freaking another black sea bass. Well guys, after uh, you know stopping at the Coast Guard station and eating through like half of my shrimp with all the little uh, critters biting, um, I take it, I moved on one more spot and uh, I get on something that, well, we, you know, I catch a couple of fish and then I get on something I, I never thought I would ever catch. Um, but here you go, check it out. What do we got? Black sea bass. A lot of black sea bass around here lately, but they are all super small. He decided to start fighting as a jack. No, nope. that's a nice size mangrove snapper right there. That guy's right about 11. We'll let him go. I usually like to keep these guys around 12 inch. Oh, I think we got something else here. What do we got? Oh, what do we got here? What do we got? Oh man. What do we got? Something decent. Something decent. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, it's I've never caught one of these before. That's crazy. First time. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, look at these guys. That's pretty awesome. No, I don't think so. I think they're uh, protected. Um, yeah, this guy's pretty neat, man. He's a little. What's that? No, I got three cameras. I got a YouTube channel. We're good. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna let this guy go, man. That was a pretty amazing catch. It's pretty cool. There you go, buddy. There you go. There he goes. It's pretty cool. I don't know what I was thinking. That was a guitar fish. Why was I thinking spade? I don't know. Anyway, that was a guitar fish. That was the first time I've ever caught one of those. Um, you know, I just I just brain farted for a minute. But anyway, uh, that was an awesome catch. Uh, Hopefully we get some more cool catches here before the end of the day, but uh, that was first for me. Man, you never know what you're gonna catch out here. First time I ever caught one of those. Well guys, thanks for joining that uh, Salty Strikes fishing adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And not every day is gonna be, you know, uh, slot snooks and, and slot redfish and, you know, mackerel and, big snapper offshore and stuff like that. Some days are gonna be catfish days. You wouldn't believe how many catfish I caught today. Um, <laughs> more than I've caught in a long time. Um, it was still a good time to cut that class of guitar fish. It was pretty cool, uh, but it happens to everybody. You know, I get, uh, you know, three or four charter captains come by, you know, I'm starting to get to know everybody around here and, you know, come by and they were, and they were like, they didn't have a very good day, they were a slow bite, you know, so it happens, you know, it just, Sometimes it bites off and sometimes the fish are, you know, all over the inlet. Sometimes they just kind of disappear and it just depends. And uh, there's so many factors, uh, but just, you know, it even happens to me sometimes. So no matter what, just get out there and have a good time. You know, even though I caught a lot of little fish and uh, really I'm not taking anything home. Um, I had a good time, the puppies had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time. Um, so, uh, you know, that's the way it is sometimes. Happens to everybody.
Uh, and uh, thanks for all those people who are subscribing and leaving those thumbs up and, and positive comments every week. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to us. Uh, you know, I say that every week, but it really does. Um, you know, it really keeps us going. You know, we started this channel as, you know, just, you know, keeping record of, you know, fun, fun fishing adventures. You know, I was recording before I ever posted to YouTube. And um, then I finally started to share with everybody. And uh, I've got, we've gotten so much, uh, you know, great feedback and, and um, kudos from, from people. And, you know, that encourages us to get out there and try to make good content for you guys. So, until we see you again next time, guys, stay salty.